hey guys so welcome to this video on how to install the adventure work sample database onto your macbook m1 or m2 chip so uh, in this video we'll be talking about how to get um, the adventure works database installed onto your macbook if you used um, the docker and azure data studio method to get sql server up and working on your um, macbook m1 or m2 so if you've not done that yet please uh, watch our previous video on installing sql server using docker and a docker container to get sql server onto your macbook so proceeding with the installation step one would be to make sure that azure data studio and docker sql containers are working so to do this um, to make sure that uh, docker is working you should open up docker on your desktop and if you um, correctly install the software you should see a container uh, with the name sql running on your uh, inside the docker desktop app if it's not running uh, where you see the stop sign here there, there would usually be a start sign and sometimes what happens for some users is that the docker app doesn't open on uh, your mac so then what you can do is you can go to uh, your finder and then you've got this software called um, activity monitor so if you head there and you close all docker related tasks and then st uh, try starting docker again it should work now coming to uh, azure data studio uh, you can see that we're connected to the local host uh, with this green dot so that means everything is set and we're good to go all right so coming to step two step two is installing the adventure works database or data warehouse not installing downloading sorry so to download we come to this uh, microsoft documentation page which i'll link to it in the description of this video and we scroll down and we see this list of um databases so we've got basically two types that we can choose from we've got the AdventureWorks database and the AdventureWorks data warehouse. So why there are two types is basically because of these two database principles or types of database methodologies which is OLTP and OLAP. Um, we'll come to that in another video but basically OLTP is for all transaction related processes uh, for your business and OLAP or the data warehousing is more for analysis related services. So for right now we'll just use OLTP and you click on this and begin the download. So as you can see, the download has begun. Now that the download's completed, as you can see here, we move on to step three, which is to uh, move AdventureWorks into the Docker SQL container. So to do that, what we've got to do is um, open up our terminal. And once we've got our terminal in there, we have to use a specific command, which I will be linking in the, I will, uh, I will be pasting it in the description to this video. So we've just got to update the name of the file to match the one that we downloaded. And also where you see this container ID, uh, to get that ID, you have to go back to your Docker application and copy the container ID from the SQL container that is currently running. So yeah, we come back and um, paste the ID in and then we execute the query. So we can see that the query has been executed and once that is completed we can go on to step four step four is restoring the adventure works database inside azure data studio so to do that now we come to azure data studio and just we refresh the connection once and then we go to manage 
so once we're inside manage what we want to do is we want to hit a restore here and restore we want to restore from a backup file and then once we're inside backup file where you see this backup file path we click on the three dots and we come down and inside VAR where you see VAR you can see opt MS SQL and inside MS SQL inside data you should see the AdventureWorks 2019.bak backup so then we select that and click OK and it should load and once it's loaded you should see um, the AdventureWorks database come up here in the backup sets to restore section and then we just hit restore so as you can see restore database succeeded and we get the AdventureWorks 2019 name so now if we just refresh the database set up a new query and look inside databases you'd see that we can access the AdventureWorks 2019 database here so if we just have a look at the tables you can see that all the tables are here now and yeah if we just want to query this just to confirm that it's working we can do a select from person dot sorry person dot person and if we run that we see that we get the data so now that we know um, AdventureWorks is installed we can get to practicing our querying so as always happy querying and uh, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you found it helpful as it continues as it helps us continue making videos like this for you